All right, I'm going to make this video to show how to rebuild uh, injectors on this uh, 2002 Duramax. Um, just let the record show that I am not a mechanic. So mostly my video is going to be on how to actually rebuild the injector. Uh, this is just an overview of what the engine looks like before I rip into it. All right, once you go to down to this point and you get all of those bolts out of the top <clears throat> valve cover and you get the uh, injector fuel lines off and whatnot you got to pry this cover off uh, the only way I could find to get in there was to take a piece of wood kind of prop it on in the fold and then with this bar you can get underneath that lip and uh, work it up you just got to kind of pull on it and it eventually she just pops up so all right once you get the valve the upper valve cover off. This is basically what you'll see. Um, the injectors are there, there. The ones with the wires going to them, obviously. Um, you need to unbolt those two bolts. Those hold the wiring harness, and then, and then all the the wires onto the injectors need to come off. And uh, once you get that off, take off the lower cover, which is uh, all these little Allen wrench bolts around the outside. And uh, once you get that off, then we got to go and take off this return line, which runs from injector to injector, and then we'll uh, actually unbolt the injector and take it out. All right, once you get uh, these 12 uh, bolts out on the lower cover, uh, those are metric, from what I can tell, 5 millimeter uh, Allen wrench. Uh, do not use standard because you'll strip it out. So uh, five millimeter, and take out all those bolts. And then this cover does not have. This cover has a reusable seal on it, so this one just pops right off once you get the bolts out. So not a big deal. Allen wrench, I believe the same size. And then also that return line goes up here to. Um, to a bolt that lets it feed back into the uh, block so the gas can return back to the to the uh, pump or the tank or wherever it goes. So uh, we'll take that off and then once we get that line off we can uh, actually take an injector out. Alright, so I got the uh, return line off. Now uh, we're going to take out these bolts. Uh, those are these are the hold downs for the um, injectors. There's four of them. Those are uh, eight millimeter Allen wrench. Um, Going to take those uh, four out. And the other one's up there. Um, and then once those are out, we got to pop the injector out. All right. So when you're taking the injectors out, it seems like what works best to get them out of there without too much force is. Uh, Let's see, this injector sits down in there like that. Um, it helps to wiggle it back and forth. Once you get it moving like that, then just moving it back and forth and pulling up at the same time, usually it'll pull it right out. I mean, you only got like that little, that little rubber uh, um, seal on there that really holds it. So it's basically all there is. And as you can see, that one, if you can see that or not, pretty dirty anyway. All right, the injector's out. That's what it looks like. I got it clamped in a vise. That's the, uh, the nozzle right there. You can see that, that we're going to replace. And then obviously all these O-rings will get replaced too in the rebuild process. Um, first thing you need to do, take this uh, copper washer off. Um, those also get replaced with the rebuild, so you could recycle those, make some good money. Um, three quarter inch wrench on there with the base securely uh, held by the vise, and uh, we'll take that off. All right. Once you get the uh, once you get it unscrewed away, before you take it all the way apart, it's best to. Uh, at this point, move it to an area that's really clean and uh, white towels seem to work the best. Take it apart um, up inside there. This stuff all comes out. It's part of the injector. See the injector like 
it wasn't so dirty it would push out of there. There we go. So then you got uh, that, that thing that holds the injector in, like the nozzle. And then uh, this part actually slides, supposed to be inside the injector. So that's basically the part that we're going to replace. Um, up inside here, this is kind of why you want it over a white towel, because up inside here, let's see if I can focus on that. There's a little pin in there, which comes out. <clears throat> and as you can see, at this piece, a little spring and a little tiny spacer. Whoa, it's sticky. So that's the three components that tend to fall out of the uh, the internal part of the lower part of the injector. I know uh, when I clean this thing out, if that little washer doesn't come out and you spray, um, you know, some sort of injector cleaner or something into there to clean this injector out, that little washer will come protruding out, like it will go flying. So you probably want to cover up the end of this thing with a towel if you're going to clean it out, if you're going to spray a uh, cleaner down inside there, because it will come out and if you lose it, that's a hard one to replace. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean this thing up and then we'll get ready to put the new uh, nozzle tip back in. All right, here's the injector taken apart. We still got the parts laying out there. Um, there's the new nozzle and the old nozzle. Um, it's a lot cleaner, obviously. Uh, the one thing that I like to do before I put these in, get the little rod to come out of there. Um, I like to put it in a little bit of oil to uh, lubricate that thing, because it does, seem to be a little sticky. So, go ahead and put this thing back together. Um, let's see. Uh, that little spacer goes first, then the spring, and then this thing goes on the spring like that. So, that's ultimately the order it goes in, from like that. It just goes inside there. And then the nozzle, obviously, clean off this cap, and uh, the nozzle will fit back inside there, uh, and then put the base all back together. One thing that is good, which I found on the internet, was uh, these threads right here. A uh, guy said that he found that they, they leaked after you take it apart. So I used this, um, I don't know, this ultra black stuff. It comes in like an aerosol type can, so it uh, automatically comes out when you push the nozzle. Uh, that's worth the money, in my opinion, uh, because you'll use it on the valve covers also. But uh, you just put a little, a tiny bit around on these threads <clears throat> midway up, and uh, then when you tighten it down, you just go around and wipe the excess off, and that seals those threads from leaking, because there is actually a lot of pressure in here uh, from the diesel. And the other thing to note is the three holes that are in there. There is three holes in here. So one thing to note is the three holes on each side of this. This is actually where the fuel comes down. So you want to make sure um, that you put the two, line, the two holes that line it up on the right side so that the, the feeder hole uh, lines up with the feeder hole because you can do it backwards it will go backwards and if you do that obviously you'll get no fuel so something to be aware of all right now I'm going to take the uh, the upper half which is the electrical part of the uh, injector apart to replace the two o-rings that seal um, the fuel from leaking out of the upper half uh, this side is a little a little bit uh, tricky because there are some smaller parts in here that are easier to lose um, but it's not that bad let's see one thing I do is I like to make a mark I just use a sharpie to align after I'm done and I put it back together so I can align it back up because it does make a difference 
where um, where those two posts are lined up after you put the injector in. So, all right, <clears throat> I've got the upper part loose, which is the electrical part where the magnet's at. Uh, put it back on the towel so we don't lose these parts. Um, ultimately, there's not a lot up inside there that will fall out. I mean, that's pretty much just a magnet. I don't know if you can see in there. Pretty much just like a magnet that sucks this um, plunger up and down. Um, this is where the little parts are at. So you take this spring off, and then uh, you technically don't have to take this off, but uh, I do just because I want to verify everything that's in there, that everything's in the right spot still. So let's see. There's a little washer right there. And then when you take that out, oh, there it is. See, inside there, sometimes this little check ball um, will stay in there. It goes right down in the bottom on that gold. Uh, there's like a little spot for it, but it's actually magnetized now to this, this piece. Oop, see the little bead just fell out? So what you have is this thing you've got this and that and there's a there's a little tiny cup on the uh, on this little piece that the ball fits into like that I don't know if you can see that or not anyhow that uh, sits in there, and then I use tweezers actually, and I put it when I put it back together, and I I drop the ball inside there, and then I put that little cup on top of it, and then this thing, you can kind of see where it sits on there. That thing just sandwiches in in between, and that's pretty much the little parts you got to worry about. Those two little parts, and uh, that little washer. That's on the top of that thing. You want to make sure that, that stays on there. So, we we'll replace the O-rings. One O-ring is right there, and the other one is in this cap. And you need to basically push that cap down. Try and do this one. That comes out, and then up in the top ring, you've got another O-ring up in there. And the, the kit um, will come with new O-rings for that, um, new O-rings here for the where the fuel hookup is, and then also the new O-ring for the for the sleeve on the injector itself and and the copper washer. So there's the finished product after uh, after you get the um, the little ball bearing. Um, check valve in there and you're pretty confident it's in there you usually just put it in there and just push that other thing down on it quickly and that uh, seems to do it so once you get that in there uh, I make sure I oil up the, uh, the o-rings a little bit slide them together put it together and um, new o-rings there you got the new copper ring down there uh, the only thing you really need to do after that is clean out the sleeve where this thing goes down in. I usually take like a cloth on a long screwdriver and uh, build it up on the end and then just turn it using uh, some sort of cleaner in the uh, truck itself in the sleeve so that when this copper ring goes down in there, it seals real good against the bottom. Uh, other than that, it's the same process for all eight injectors. And that's about it.